Here we see natural gas burning, a clean collection of molecules of hydrocarbons extracted from oil wells originally discharged as a waste product and occasionally flared off where it's not economical to capture and sell. Around here, PSE pipelines this stuff to utility customers who pay for it. It's actually kind of cheap, the cheapest way to heat water or a home, much cheaper than electricity. Here they're burning it outside a fire pit. I'm at Tuta Bella's watching the pizza oven, the man operating it. Pretty cool, huh? This is water, H2O boiling in a copper paella pan made in Mexico by artisanal people, heated by an electric range stove in our home. This is a bit of a deep dive. You're going to watch as thermal vortices in the water undulate the surface with mechanical energy as steam or water vapor escapes from the boiling liquid water. Hydrogen bonding keeps most of the water a liquid at a surprisingly high temperature. You can see the red glow of the heated element under the glass surface of the stovetop there, glowing red around the base of this copper pot. The hands or the handles of this paella pan are made of bronze. They're riveted to this pan. I bought it on Amazon. Here we can see the steam. Water, when it expands from a liquid to a gas, expands more than 700 times. Here the range hood and the light are evacuating the steam. You can see the light fighting the steam. That dark black surface makes a nice contrast so you can see the backlit water. That stove light helps to illuminate the water vapor. The water vapor is made of millions of tiny little droplets. The fan above the stove, the extractor, has a metal screen over it to catch oil spatter from cooking, pan frying, and deep frying. What happens here is Water vapor can squeak through the little metal pieces, the little fibers in that filter, and it gets pulled out by an evacuation fan. It makes use of centrifugal acceleration of the blades with an electric motor to create a differential pressure under Bernoulli's principle, where the higher pressure on top of the blade produces vacuum, and this is used to channel or suck the vapor out. Now we see. When, when the pan starts to heat, there's localized heat zones where the gasification of water occurs. Uh, these are known as nucleation points. Here you can see the artisanal creator of this pan uh, used a rotary hammer or a roto hammer or even maybe hand swung hammer to pound the copper into this form or this shape and it gives it a very distinctive ring. You can listen, listen. That's a cuckoo clock ticking and Mocha snoring in the background. 